Hi friends, patriotism is in the air as India celebrates its 75th anniversary of its independence this 15th of August. Azadi ka Amrit Mahatsav. So I thought why not check out what is uh, that artificial intelligence is uh, helping out our armed forces. Not only India but I have also explored what are the things that's happening overall and uh, what are the different applications that AI brings in on the table. So let's check out today's topic AI in armed forces. Progress in artificial intelligence, especially deep learning, robotics, have opened up new capabilities which will impact military strategies assertively. It will have an impact on uh, military criteria, its knowledge, identification, uh, offense and defense strategies, and also nuclear weapon programs. So let's check out what is the scope of artificial intelligence in defense and also check out the top four areas where it can be applied. First one is combat platform. Under this comes all the self-governing and uh, high speed uh, weapons. One unique thing that I want to talk about under this section is identification of targets using unstructured data. That's all the images and footages which are available and uh, using that uh, on a real time basis uh, the target is um, hit with an accuracy of 100% in the first time. Next one is cyber operations. For any armed forces, maintaining the secrecy of their intelligence is of utmost importance and hence um, uh, lies the importance of application of AI in cyber security. In this case, uh, AI applications not only track or uh, protect uh, their systems from any cyber attack, but analyzing these trends, they also come up with countermeasures to prevent them uh, in future. Logistic and transportation, I would call this as a lifeline for any defense forces because whether it is about moving the troops from one place to another or moving ships or uh, maybe uh, providing supplies, medicines on a timely manner uh, in a work like situation or in general also and even small thing like communicating with people who are based out of some extreme conditions in itself is a blessing uh, which is available uh, with the help of artificial intelligence. It might not only eliminate a lot of waste from the processes but it will also save life uh, in the need of the hour. Combat region healthcare. This is more about providing medical assistance to uh, soldiers in the war zone. This can be done uh, using AI uh, RSS which is robotic surgical system which provides immediate medical assistance to the soldiers uh, as and when required. The other one is uh, your RGP troops which is available which is a robotic ground platform which uh, helps uh, to evacuate people from uh, the war zone. These were some of the applications or the scope of application of artificial intelligence in armed forces. But I know you are wondering uh, which are the countries uh, which are pioneering in this and what about India? Top countries that are heavily investing in AI in armed forces, first one is US. They have invested almost 8 billion uh, just for uh, AI and big data. The other one is uh, China. So China is boosting its self-defense and want to be the supreme power by 2030. So that's another one who's heavily investing. And the third one is Russia. I don't want to talk much about it. We have witnessed it all. Coming back to India, let's understand which are some of the two or three interesting applications of AI. India is heavily investing in its ISR sector, that's intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. And under this, I want to talk about top three uh, innovations which got displayed recently. The first one is Sapro Scout. 
this is a mini tanker i would say it's an unmanned vehicle uh, but it has the capability of identifying the underlying landmines in the soil the second one is trishul which is a multi weapon system which has the capability of identifying the target at a range of say 300 meters which for a human being it's quite difficult it can also identify the targets of very small size and hit at an accuracy of 100% for a static target and 90% for a moving target the next one uh, is silent sentry so this is a robot which patrols across the borders it has the capability of uh, detecting what's happening around it it has the capability of doing its own analytics and also store a lot of information and it provides a lot of information to our uh, people um, in the background hope you like this video and uh, if you did please do subscribe to my channel and with that me salika hussain signing off for today jai hind